Good evening, everybody. Welcome to KTTN TV in coverage of the Trenton Varsity Volleyball Opener. Very young Bulldog squad, but some decent experience returning off of last year. This is the second year in the coaching tenure of Amanda King. Spoke with her the second day of practice. We talked a little bit about how, and I know it's generally kind of a negative term that you don't use too often, but I think it kind of fit last year. Last year, rebuilding a season for Trenton R9. Had a lot in the way of uh, inexperienced freshmen, some decent freshmen, and that freshman class, decent freshman class, has resulted in a lot of sophomores. So it is that mix of Trenton is they're young, are they ready to win, or are they maybe a year, year and a half away from kind of getting to that point? We'll find out a lot tonight. Cameron Lady Dragons out of the MEC, coached by former uh, Trenton head coach Brady Wald. He's now in his second year at Cameron. So as uh, Brady Wald took the job at Cameron last summer, Amanda King slid over from the assistant's job, and she is now the uh, head coach last year and this year as well for the Trenton Lady Bulldogs. Trenton Lady Bulldog at JV looked a little bit rusty to start their season. Maybe nerves getting involved a little bit as well as they lost to Cameron in identical scores of 25-13 and 25-13. So uh, Trenton Varsity to play Cameron. Uh, if you look at the scores last year for the Trenton Varsity you would think that it was a struggling season in many ways it was. However, if you talk to Coach King, and I did that every week last year on Football Fridays and kind of talk about the volleyball season, there, there were just a lot of youthful things. The talent was generally there last year, but they just kind of need that self-confidence of seeing a little bit of success and then working on that success. They had many, many opportunities last year, not maybe against the elite teams that, that they play, the LeBlancs, the Chillicothe, these teams like that would give Trenton trouble. However, Trenton against a good amount of varsity opponents last year, they'd have either a good set or they'd lose a set 25-21, be very, very close, win a set. But with teams that struggle, you see that if they give up one point and two points, it's the battle of, and it's not a physical battle, it's that mental battle of you got to find a way to get serve back. Because the easiest way in rally scoring to get points is you either you start missing serves or you start missing sets, you start missing spikes, you're not solid with your passing game and once that happens and you don't have the serve, things can get away from you very, very quick. So in this sport, when you have the serve, you got to be solid with your serve, you got to have your serve set up points. If Trenton can get to that point, they can make some big strides this season. Uh, Trenton had five victories on the varsity level a year ago, and they are looking to have a big start to their season because Trenton is going to have some good home cooking here to start the season. Three matches over the next 96 hours here at THS. Tonight, Cameron in town. You can watch it here live. We'll have uh, the play-by-play -play with video as well on KTTN TV, just go to youtube.com, search KTTN Radio, and you can watch Lady Bulldogs and Cameron on your computer, on your iPhone, just uh, whatever it is in 2016. I know we all have them, whatever is your mode of just staying up to date on things, usually phone, but you do, can do so on your computer in a variety of different ways. Cameron tonight, Lawson will be here tomorrow night. Chillicothe is here on Thursday night. The first roadie of the season for the Lady Bulldog volleyball program will be Monday, a week from tonight, down at Penny High of Hamilton. Plattsburgh will be here on Tuesday the 30th, and Kirksville is going to be here on September the 8th. And then just a little bit after that, Trenton will be in the Lathrop Invitational on September the 10th. Cameron, of course, a member of the Midland Empire Conference. If you are curious about Trenton's volleyball program and joining the Grand River Conference, there are not enough volleyball teams this year to have a GRC volleyball uh, league. That may change next year. I was talking with Ron Franklin, the uh, one of the upper echelon guys in leadership here in the Trenton R9 School District. Logan, you may know this. Is he a principal or superintendent? Super? Principal? Okay, principal. I thought it was principal, but I thought I'd check. He was telling me, and he kind of be in a know on this, that there are some uh, some schools. He mentioned Stanbury, and uh, maybe uh, don't quote me on this, like North Andrews, some of the schools like that in the GRC West that may be adding volleyball. It's uh, there are a lot more schools towards St. Joe that play volleyball than toward Trenton and Chillicothe at, at the small school level. Let me put it that way. 
If that happens, if they can get six, seven, something like that, you got 16 schools to uh, pick. And if you get six or seven of them to uh, have volleyball, we know Trenton's won already. And if you can kind of get that, you can have a volleyball league. So Trenton's hopeful of that next year, but uh, no conference matches per se this year for Trenton Volleyball. For Cameron, a member of the Midland Empire Conference, that is not the case. Cameron's G, uh, MEC opener will be at Cameron against St. Joe Benton. That will be on uh, September the 1st, I believe. That's a Thursday. So that'll be the opener. Before then, that'll be the home opener for Cameron as well. Before then, Cameron plays at Trenton tonight. We'll play at Lawson on Thursday. So there's going to be a little back and forth here uh, with Cameron, Trenton, and Lawson. They're all going to play kind of one another in a little, uh, you know, however you want to call it. So they will uh, play each other over the next four nights, and you kind of get an idea where those programs are by playing one another. Cameron will be at Excelsior Springs uh, next Tuesday, August the 30th. Other matches a note for Cameron and the MEC at Savannah on September the 8th. And down the road here about 20 miles down at Chillicothe High School to take on the Hornets on September the 13th. The Trenton Bulldog JV football team, and I failed to mention this on our sportscast earlier today on KTTN. They, will, uh, they are at Lathrop tonight at 6, so they'll get started here shortly. I have uh, on my master schedule a bunch of varsity stuff. I don't have the middle school. I don't have the JV yet, so I think I have something to work on later this week. Tomorrow night, Trenton Lady Bulldogs in a game you can hear, weather permitting, on Z101.7 on the radio dial. No video tomorrow. Trenton will be at Maysville to start the softball season. That'll be the GRC opener for the Bulldogs and the Wolverines tomorrow at 5.30 on KTTN-FM 92.3. Tomorrow night at 5.30. Milan at Putnam County. You can hear that game on KTTN. Princeton's at South Harrison and Polo at Gallatin. So tomorrow night is a full night in the GRC East. GRC West, some, uh, some of the teams playing in conference, some not. You got Bramer at Summit Christian Academy, Pattonsburg at Tri-County tomorrow night. Stanbury is at Albany, that's conference matchup. North Andrew at Worth County, another conference matchup. DeKalb is at King City, Penny at Brookfield, Richmond at Lawson. Volleyball matches tonight in addition to this one. Brookfield is hosting Hallsville. South Holt is at North Platte. Benton's at Maryville. Volleyball tomorrow night. We mentioned Lawson at Trenton. Lathrop will host Summit Christian Academy. Maryville is at East Buchanan. And Bishop LeBlanc is at Mid Buchanan. About two minutes away from the start. Let's give you the uh, lineups, not the starters, but the groups of nine that are going to make up the Bulldogs and the Dragons. On the Bulldog side, freshman number five, Shauna Copeland. And freshman, number six, Alina Allen. There's only one senior on the Bulldog roster. That is Brittany Wilson. She'll have the number 22. She'll be in the varsity lineup. Along with sophomores, Teresa Burkholder, Laura Carlson, wearing number seven, number 10, Sadie Jackson, wearing number 11, Harley Provorce, wearing number 14, Malia Farmer, wearing number 15, and a freshman, one of three freshmen on the varsity roster for Trenton, Mackenzie Klingensmith wearing number nine. So as I mentioned, and as you can tell from the roster, very young Trenton Lady Bulldog squad. It's time for the national anthem, so we'll let you listen to that. We are on KTTN TV, live from Trenton. It's Trenton Cameron Varsity Volleyball coming up in about three minutes.
Trenton Varsity Volleyball on KTTN TV is being brought to you by the Trenton R9 School District, Farm Bureau Insurance and Agent Quinton Kuhn. Serve Link Home Care, Heartland Insurance and Agent Justin Mitchell. Crow Walker Insurance, the People's Co-op, Edward Jones, High V, Farmers Bank of Northern Missouri. The Auto Shop located on Highway 65, one mile south of Trenton. Dave's Body Shop, Dr. Andy Cox, DDS. Barnes Baker Automotive, Oklahoma Avenue in Trenton. Farmers Mutual Insurance, Trenton Main Stop. The North Central Missouri College Bookstore located on campus at NCMC. The office of Dr. Ethan Cross, Larry Bennell Insurance, Rosemary Hill Tree Farm, North Central Missouri College, Double R Ag, Dave Cochran of State Farm, and the TNT Convenience Stores. Here's the starting lineup for the Trenton Lady Bulldogs for this varsity volleyball matchup. Number seven, Teresa Burkholder will get the uh, start, along with number uh, Laura Carlson, which is number 10. Number 14 get the start for the Lady Bulldogs and Carly Provorts. Starting at number 15 is Malia Farmer. Starting is number 22, Brittany Wilson. That's again, the only senior on the Bulldog roster in freshman Mackenzie Klingensmith gets a start for Trenton. Uh, as you probably know, if you've lived in Missouri for a while, or if you've uh, watched Bulldog sports, Dragon sports, and you know the color scheme of these schools is black and gold. And it'll look pretty similar as you watch on video from home. There's a little bit of a difference, and we'll try to, uh, we'll see if it works or not. Cameron is, instead of wearing black, kind of have gray tops. So Cameron's going to have gray tops. They will be on the side of the floor for this first set uh, to the left of your screen. They're going to have the uh, black shorts and the black. Uh, some of them have black socks. Some are going with the white sock look. Trenton has a little bit of a, a multicolored jersey, and it has a little bit of a, I'll describe that to Logan, right around, the, right around the hips, a little bit of kind of a, a, a gold fade, so to speak, along with uh, the black top. The uh, numbers are in gold right across the high front of the uniform, and you got Trenton, you got the numbers on back with the black shorts, and uh, Trenton matches everybody with black socks. 25-13, 25-13, the scores in the... JV matchup going the way of the Cameron Lady Dragons. You'll get a real good idea. A couple of things here tonight. How is Cameron going to be in the MEC? You kind of get an early idea about Cameron. We're going to have Lawson playing both these teams uh, later this week. So a Lawson will be interested in seeing what happens here tonight as the Lady Cardinals getting their volleyball season underway here in the next uh, 24 hours. And uh, is uh, Trenton improved? You can only uh, kind of take so much off of one match, but if Trenton comes out and they come out blazing, home court advantage, all those things, you gotta figure, yeah, this uh, this team with a, a lot of experienced sophomores really making up the gut of this team. We'll see uh, if they can kind of get the nerves out as the first set of the match is underway. Cameron gets it over the net and it's gonna be fought at the net and deflected over toward the scores table and it is down to the floor for a Cameron point. So one to nothing in favor of the Lady Dragons as serving it up for Cameron will be number 22, Claudia McIntyre. Overhand, spike serve, that played real well into the back of the court. Knocked over underhanded by Provorce of the Lady Bulldogs. As the ball goes left side, nice spike. It's gonna be dug out by Trenton, but not a real good set there. As getting her hands on the ball was Malia Farmer, but her pass went right to the bottom of the net and unable to get to that as it rolled to the Cameron side was Trenton, two to nothing Dragons. Good serve, able to get that ball into the air for Trenton was Laura Carlson and she will uh, tap it back on the double hit. The ball right in the middle of the floor. There's a nice set to the left side of the floor and the spike and it is gonna be off of the dig attempt of Mackenzie Klingensmith of, or I should say uh, Cameron and out of bounds point Bulldogs off of the spike by Carly Provorts. Two to one now in favor of the Dragons as the Bulldogs look for the tie. Good serve low right over the net by Provors. There's a tip over and it's put right back over by Trenton's Brittany Wilson. Now left side. Nice little uh, hustle job here by Trenton as the ball is right against the net and tipped over by Carlson. 
The ball back over to the Dragons as the ball is tipped off of the net. Dragons got some uh, fortunate bounce there. And has kind of hit that one uh, flat-footed off the uh, right side of the uh, floor was Alex Ewald. And her shot hit the uh, net and had some side spin. It bounces over for the point. Three to one as Trenton has it. And there's a nice spike right to the back middle of the floor. And it's down off the work there of Laura Carlson. So the sophomore whose year in school matches her uniform number at 10. Got some good sync on that one. And it's three to two in favor of the Lady Dragons. First one to 25 will win set number one. If you win two sets, you win the game. If a third set is needed, it'd be first to 15. You got to win a set by two. There's good looking at serve for Trenton's Carlson. Cameron looks for the spike. Good dig in the back of the uh, floor, but unable to control the dig there was Carlson. It went off of her uh, right wrist toward the Trenton bench, and the Bulldogs unable to chase it down. 4 2. The lead for Cameron Hannah Robinson, left hander with a serve here for the MEC's Dragons. Serve right in the middle of the floor. Nice hustle play there, diving into the bench by. Trenton's Brittany Wilson. Bulldogs get it over off the third hit. There's another nice play in the back there by Carlson. Ball in the back and saved by Cameron's Hannah Robinson. Hustle on both sides as Cameron will get it over. Two-handed set there by McIntyre. The ball hit back over from Trenton. Now back over to Cameron. And that is a double hit there. Called against the Dragons, and it's going to be 4-3 Bulldogs. So the Bulldogs showing some spunk here early. Trenton got the first couple of points. Now the referee who made that double hit call on the far sideline, he's going to discuss it with the head umpire. He goes from one side of the net to the other. It in, as they talk, it is point Trenton. If you're familiar with volleyball, it's one of the changes to high school volleyball since 15 years ago when you had to have the serve to get a point. Now it's rally scoring, so every time you get the ball to the ground against your opponent in, it is a point for you. You don't need to have the serve. Nice low serve there again for Trenton's Brittany Wilson. Cameron having some trouble with it, but the Dragons get it back over with McIntyre. Trenton looking for the spike. The ball goes left side by Sadie Jackson. Jackson tips it, and it's right against a net. Difficult spot to be. Is able to keep that ball in the air with Burkholder, but unable to get real low there to keep that alive with Sadie Jackson. And Cameron keeps the advantage here at 5-3. So 5-3 visiting Dragons, set number one. Alex Ewald serves it up. Set for the Bulldogs. Goes cross court, tipped over nicely by Burkholder, but was Burkholder into the net? She was. I think it was Burkholder, one of the Bulldogs was. She had got a, a set to the left side and tipped it over, but her momentum took her into the net. That's point Dragon, 6-3 now Cameron. Awfully important point here for Trenton to try to get Cameron with a little bit of momentum. There's a spike middle of the floor, and it's going to go off of the block attempt of Trenton, Sadie Jackson, and it hits the floor. Both Jackson and Klingensmith were trying to block that back to the Dragons. It's another point for Cameron, and Trenton direly here needs to uh, get serve, get a side out here, and then get some points onto the Bulldog ledger. Tough serve there. It's right back into that deep right corner, putting pressure on Laura Carlson. It was kind of a her or nobody for Trenton, and the ball went off of Carlson's arm and out of bounds for the ace serve. Another serve here by Ewald. That one's deep. Played by Trenton, high into the air. The ball goes left, and it's spiked over nicely by Burkholder, but dug out by Trenton. Ball tipped back over by Trenton, and now back to Cameron. There's a spike, and it hit the net, and that's going to be a four-hitter there for Cameron. So a spike attempt for the Dragons. I believe that was Savannah Robinson hits the net, and Trenton does get the point. Now Trenton needs to get on a little bit of a run here, is trying to get that run with serve as Teresa Burkholder. Good serve. Far side, it's played nicely by Cameron up in the air. The spike, middle of the floor, knocked into the air high by Trenton. Proverse with the set. Here's the a little tip spike over the net by Jackson, and it's going to go back underhanded, back over to Trenton off of the play of Paige Harper. Cross-court pass in the set, and it's missed. Opportunity there for Carly Provers to go across court with the spike, but she might have been a little bit timing off as she went up into the air and didn't seem to get real full extension or connection there on the uh, spike, and it goes into the top of the net, staying on Trenton's side, Point Dragons. 
Checking in for Coach Ewald is Sylvia Harden, wearing number four. She's going to play a front left position here for the Dragons as not a good serve there by Robinson. It was low and it hit the bottom of the tape, giving the point and the serve to Trenton. Mackenzie Klingensmith, one of the freshmen here on the Trenton roster. She has the volleyball on the west side here of the gymnasium. She'll be serving it west to east toward Trenton's visitors from Cameron. Klingensmith launches it up the far sideline, played by Cameron toward the middle, then back to the sideline, played over by Harden. Trenton with an opportunity to score, but miscommunication. We saw that numerous times in the JV match, and now it bites Trenton in the varsity match. Sadie Jackson, Carly Proverse are looking at one another. I don't know if a one called off the other. They both called, but miscommunication for Trenton gives it back over to Cameron. 10-5, Dragons. Serve for Cameron over the net. Paige Harper. Ball goes toward the far sideline, played by Trenton, and underhanding it over nicely to save the point was Klingon Smith. Now the ball is going to go back over. Nice dig there for Trenton. The ball left in the net. It's going to be two-handed over by Trenton. Cameron trying to set it up for a good spike. It's a battle at the net, and it's going to go down to the floor on Trenton's side of the net. So it wasn't a real a pretty effort there for Cameron, but it looks like it's going to be Cameron's point. Looked like there might be some players into the nets, and the referee is going to say, yeah, Cameron player into the net. I didn't catch who it was. I'm going to guess here by where they're situated on the floor, either Hannah Robinson or Sylvia Harden into the nets on the left side of the floor as we watch it here. And it's 10-6 in favor of the Dragons. Bulldogs continue to kind of need one of those two, three, four point run a serve. Sometimes you can get them from real solid play on the floor. Somebody, sometimes you get somebody who's just real hot with a serve and they get a couple aces. See if Malia Farmer, sophomore on this Trenton team. Trenton boasting six sophomores on its roster. Farmer, one of them. And she serves it over. Again, Trenton likes that far side of the floor. As Farmer puts it there, there's the spike over. Dug out by Trenton as the ball is served up in the air by Farmer. Then spiked over by the Bulldogs. Right back over to Cameron. To the back of the floor. And Klingon Smith knocks it into the air for Trenton. There's the spike deep. And it's going to be uh, dug out nicely for Trenton off of the Carlson effort. The ball comes back over to Trenton. It'll go to Carlson. Middle of the floor. A little bit uh, deep there. Not a good pass. And that made it a difficult attempt for Carlson right up against the net as the ball lands. And it'll be Dragon points. That's why the uh, the set, the pass, are so important. you got to set up your teammate well to put him in position to get that good, solid spike. Serve is over. Trenton has it up in the air. There is the underhanded scoop. And it is spiked down to the floor by Carly Provorce. Provorce got a little bit of room there. And Robinson made a little late dive for it. But it looked a, a little bit like uh, she was kind of waiting for somebody else to dive. Dove at the last second. And the ball is down. 11-7 Dragons. As Cameron did nicely there to get that ball right against the net. Staying with it was Robinson. Tipped it back over to her teammates. And right into a soft spot in the middle of the Trenton defense. Behind the front line, in front of the back line. 12-7 Cameron. That ball is going to be off of the a dig attempt. And it's way, way into the Trenton bench trying to chase it down with Carly Provorce. And she got her hand on the volleyball but not enough to keep the play alive 13-7 Trenton down six a little dink serve there and it's dug nicely by Trenton but right up against the net the Bulldogs got a big break the ball kind of side spun its way up against the net and trying to tip it over for Cameron it was Alex Ewald and she tipped it into the net it's 13 to 8 Cameron Lady Dragons so sometimes you get fortunate you get a break you get uh, some luck your way in this sport that was the case there for Trenton and we'll see if the Bulldogs can take advantage now off of the side out. Laura Jackson serving it up here for the Lady Bulldogs. Again, right side. Pushed toward the net and then pushed over on the second hit by Cameron. Pushed right back over by Trenton. Ball left side and the spike is into the net. Good spike attempt there by Robinson. But again, the timing sometimes look a little, little bit off early in the season. You try to get your timing here in these matches. And Trenton catches another break. Back to back points for the Bulldogs who pull within four. First one to 25 wins set number one. It is 13-9 now in favor of Cameron. Trenton has been down for a while now by this four to six point margin. So Trenton in the set needing a rally here to get to right back on the heels of the Dragons. S served by Carlson. 
The ball tip, right side of the floor, spiked over by Cameron. A nice one-handed dig there. That was at Trenton's Provorce getting the dig as the Bulldogs put it back over to the Dragon side. Ball middle of the floor, there's a spike, and that was nicely done for about five, six feet out. Paige Harper spiked it, got it over the net with a little bit of sink right in front of Provorce of the Dogs, who got her hands on the volleyball, but a late dive there trying to dig it off of the floor, and the ball is down to the hardwood. 14-9 now Cameron, a fight at the net. The ball is going to be tipped over by Trenton toward the far sideline, and it drifted on the line. Cameron let that one go as Carly Provorce had the uh, two-handed bump with the knuckles, and it hit the sideline. Cameron didn't read that one very well. 14-10 now in favor of the Dragons. Ball goes left side, not real great angle, but a nice job there by Cameron's Robinson of finding the ball, and instead of spiking it, she didn't have the angle to spike it. She just took the lesser of two eels there and had the two-handed push shot, pushed it over, and found the dead zone in the middle of the Trenton defense. Libra now for Trenton is Teresa Burkholder playing the middle of the floor. Ball's going to come her way. She tips the ball in the air, but she cupped the ball. She kind of reacted late there to the ball coming her way. Instead of getting that contact with the fingertip, she got it down on the palms, which is... A miss hit. We call that a double hit or a palm, if you will. And it's 16-10 off of the ace. Ewald has a good serve going. This one goes left side for Trenton. Now back to, uh, to the right. This ball is spiked over by the Bulldogs. Cameron scrambling to get it. And the spike is off of the netting. Top of the net for Cameron. The uh, serve back over to Trenton. Point Trenton at 16-11. to Midway through set number one. Serve for Trenton's Teresa Burkholder. Launches it over. Cameron has it. Ewald underhands it right to the middle of the floor. Spike over for Harden as Trenton gets it back over on the underhand efforts and oh, didn't get it back over. I beg your pardon. Thought that went over on Cameron's side and hit the floor, but didn't go over the net. So point Dragons, 17-11. Cameron substitutions here for Coach Ewald. And Shequan Jones is going to do the serving here for the Lady Dragons. Trenton making some substitutions as well. Alina Allen is in. Shauna Copeland playing the Libro. It's going to be Allen with the dig. The set. Now the spike. It is long by about a half foot. Good effort. That was one of the nicer looking bump set spike efforts for Trenton all night long, but the spike was just a little bit long. Jones, left-handed serve here for Cameron. Low, tough one to handle for Trenton. Bulldogs did well to get it. Now, underhanded over, and nicely done. It found a soft spot. Mackenzie Klingensmith gets the winner for Trenton. Trenton trying to keep their head above water here in this first set, now down by six. You get the feeling Trenton's in this set. They just, they haven't had a good run of serve for a while. They'd like to get it right here. There's the serve by Klingensmith. Ball spiked deep into the back of the uh, Trenton Gymnasium as the, uh, the, the attempt by Carly Provorce to dig it out. She got it, but didn't uh, place it well as Klingensmith is unable to chase it down. It's 19-12, Cameron up seven. There's a serve by the Dragons. And it's going to be sent back over for Trenton's Mackenzie Klingensmith right to Cameron. And the Dragons unable to put it back over the net as Hannah Robinson's left-handed shot hit the tape. Came back down. Trenton with the point. Bulldogs down six. Who can Coach King here find to get a hot hand with the serve? I know she's kind of scrambling to try to find somebody. And she's going to go with Malia Farmer. So Farmer. On the back line to serve. We've seen really good serving. Not a lot of missed serves at all in this one. There's another good serve by Farmer. It's off the side for Cameron. Not played real well, but Dragons get it back over. Farmer got it for Trenton. Ball goes middle of the floor. There's a spike as it's tipped back up. A spike effort by Carlson of Trenton. Now the ball is going to go back over to the net. And Carlson unable to save it as it hit that bottom of the net. Very awkward spot as Farmer's pass went over the head of Carlson and to the floor right up against the net for the Cameron point. Now 20 to 13, Dragons up by seven. First of 
three home matches and four nights for the Trenton JV and varsity. There won't be a ninth grade team for Trenton this year. Not enough players for that, so they'll have two squads start at five o'clock most home nights. Trenton with the possession. The ball is going to be tipped over, two-handed by Brittany Wilson. Cameron gets it back. Wilson tips it into the air for Trenton. It hits the tape, and it's over for the point. When it, It's kind of one of those deals, too. It's a very basketball sort of thing. When you're trying to rebound and you get an air ball and it completely messes up your timing, it's the same thing when the ball hits the net in volleyball. It messes up your timing. It did that time. Trenton with a good serve, but Cameron did well to play it up and over. Trenton has it. The ball high into the air, spike, and it hit the top of the net. Laura Carlson spiking that one and hit the top of the net. There are just little things right now that are hurting the Lady Bulldogs. They're having a few more, and it's very, very close, but a few more un, unforced errors than Cameron, and a timeout is called by Trenton second-year head coach Amanda King. The Trenton golf team is going through Lynn County. Actually, they got Lynn County coming here, and I'm not talking Mustangs either. They got the two big schools in Lynn County coming to Riverside today and tomorrow for competition. Lady Bulldog golf team opening its season at Riverside this afternoon against Marceline. Then tomorrow, the Lady Bulldogs will host Brookfield at 4 o'clock. Busy day of softball tomorrow. We mentioned the entire GRC East is going to lift the lid on the season. We're going to hope, cross our fingers, that the rain stays away because it is in the late afternoon forecast. Trenton at Maysville. Radio coverage, Z101.7 tomorrow at 5.30. Milan at Putnam County. Radio coverage, KTTN-FM 92.3 tomorrow at 5.30. Princeton's at South Harrison. Rematch from a game won by Princeton in the North Harrison Tournament Saturday, 4-2. They'll play at Bethany tomorrow. Polo at Gallatin tomorrow as well. Serve is going to be tipped on one hit for Trenton right over the net. And there for Cameron using the long arms as Robinson. She tipped it right back over and found... The spot there right against the left sideline to get the point for Cameron as the Dragons start to close in on set number one. 22 to 14. Trenton direly need, uh, needs a run of points and needs to get the serve back right here. Cameron has it. Ewald underhands it over. Trenton trying to set it up for the points. Didn't have a real good uh, set, so just uh, pushing that one over is Allen. And there's a good spike for Cameron, and that is going to be points. That was the uh, sort of spike that Trenton was going for, but the pass wasn't good enough to set it up. Cameron got that spike in the left-hander. Hannah Robinson off of the Trenton deflection, found the floor. 23, now 14, Dragons. Tough serve right there, and that's one of them. Low slicing serve hits the net, and it's off of the uh, Trenton block and to the floor. Ace serve for Cameron's Mackenzie Davis, and it's set points. 24-14, Davis with the serve, and Trenton scrambling and unable to get the point. Kind of looked like there that once Trenton kind of realized the set was getting away from him, the level of play for Trenton, it dipped a little bit. So uh, Trenton unable to get that one back to the floor, and the final in set one from Trenton High School. They will switch sides. Cameron Lady Dragons, 25. Trenton Lady Bulldogs, 14. Trenton got behind her early in that set by about a three to four point margin. It stayed at three to four points. Once Cameron pushed it up to that six to seven point margin, it was going to take something really special for Trenton to get back into the set and something really special never really materialized. So it's 25-14, Cameron in set one. Set two is coming up in two and a half minutes. You're watching KTTN TV as Bulldog Volleyball tonight's on your video screen, brought to you by Trenton School District Farm Bureau Insurance, Quinton Kuhn, Servlink Home Care, Heartland Insurance, and Agent Justin Mitchell, and by Crow Walker Insurance. We're back in two minutes with set two here from THS.
Cameron Trenton Volleyball on KTTN-TV tonight being brought to you by the People's Co-op, Edward Jones, the Trenton High V Food Store, Farmers Bank of Northern Missouri, and the Auto Shop one mile south of Trenton on the east side of Highway 65. Stop by the Auto Shop for all of your auto work needs. Teams have tr changed sides. Trenton will be now, as you watch at home, they will be on the left side of the net. It will be Cameron on the right side of the net. Dragons to get the first serve of the set. McIntyre serves it over. Trenton has it. Ball he goes middle of the floor. There's a spike off the nets. More Laura Carlson. Cameron has it. And Robinson with the spike. Played nicely by Trenton. And there will be the lead for Trenton in the second set. Carly Provorce gets the spike off of the dig attempt of the Lady Dragons. 1-0. Trenton on top. Lady Bulldogs trying to extend this match to a winner-take-all third set. Third set, if I remember my rules right, if Trenton can get it there, would go to 15. There's another serve for Trenton. Low hit the net, but scoops over the net from Farmer. Cameron gets it back over. Trenton with a chance to take a 2-0 lead. There's the spike, and it is dug high into the air, back toward the net, hit the backboard on the basketball floor, and it's down as the spike is down there for Carly Provorce. Oh, it's being called here, the... Uh, the umpire had both thumbs into the air. I thought it might be somebody in the net, but oh, maybe not. They're going to replay the point, I guess. One nothing. They're going to replay the points. Perhaps because it hit the uh, the backboard. I'm not sure, but it stays one to nothing. So Trenton will try to get the 2-0 lead again. There's the set middle floor, and uh, again, when Trenton has struggled, and we saw it again there, they, their passing has been a little bit off. That time, Carlson wanted it right middle of the floor. It went over her head by about a foot, foot and a half. She kind of had to lean back awkwardly, and that put her timing off. She put the spike right into the net. 1-1. One, one. Now the lead for THS. Great serve there for Cameron's Sylvia Harden. If you can get that serve low, right over the net by about a half foot, and sink... You can find that dead spot and make it really tough right in the middle of the floor, and Harden found it there. Two to one, Dragons. That serve was longer and is played easily high into the air for Trent. And there's the spike, and it is down off of the arms of Cameron and out of play. Provorce. With the spike for the Bulldogs, it's a side out for Trenton. And 2-2, two, two, the second set score. Coach Ewald going to his reserves. Mackenzie Davis checking in for the gray-clad Cameron Dragons. There's the serve by Provorce. Just got the uh, spike and the point for Trenton on the kill. Cameron has it. And got that one deep into the floor. And Carly Provorce, I think, realized very late. Do I let that go or do I play it? And I think she realized very late, I think it's going to be down. So she tried to play it. She one-armed it and it went off her arm and into the spectators. So 3-2, the lead for Cameron. Trenton trying for the tie as the spike will come diagonally across from Brittany Wilson. Played easily up into the air by McIntyre. Now back over to Trenton. Cross court set. And nice job there by the Bulldogs getting it back over from Carlson. The ball again, middle of the floor. Knocked into the air by Proverse with the dig. The ball is going to be underhanded over. Nicely done there by Carlson to keep the point alive. Cameron has it, and there's a big time spike for the Dragons. It's knocked right back over for Trenton, but off the hands of Mackenzie Klingensmith over the net, and it drifts out of bounds on the far sideline. 4-2 Dragons, Cameron with the serve. Serve here for Hannah Robinson. Might say uh, if you're going to give an MVP of this match, might go to Robinson right now. The left-hander, number three, has been very good for the Dragons. Trenton gets it over with Malia Farmer pushing it back over to the Dragons. Cameron looking for the 5-3 lead. The ball is off of the dig. And Burkholder was looking at it for the Lady Bulldogs. Looked like there was some miscommunication there as uh, Trenton can't get it back over the net. 5-2 now. Cameron with the lead. Trenton back into that spot that they were in set one. Down three early. There's the dig, set, and the set goes over the net, back over the Dragons. Pushed over, nice diving play there by Carlson to scoop it back over for Trenton. As the spike for Cameron is going to go off of the block and into the Bulldog bench. Diving left for that one was Carly Provorce. Cameron's starting to eat their Wheaties a little bit. As the uh, Dragons are enjoying a good run, and they're starting to get the timing down on those bump set spikes. Passing has been better for Cameron over the last five points. The Trenton down 
There's the spike for the Bulldogs, and it's into the net from Laura Carlson, 7-2. Cameron with the lead, and this is where Trenton kind of struggled with some of their self-confidence a year ago, where they'll play with people, but they'll get into these runs where they don't give up one or two points in a row. It's, it'll end up being a five, six, seven point run. So Trenton needs to find a way to get a side out, get the serve back, get a point on the board, stop the bleeding. From the middle of the floor, the ball go left side. Trent, uh, Cameron again feeding. Robinson and there to tip it right back over the net for Trenton was Brittany Wilson. So Wilson with the block there, she tipped it right back over the net and right against the near sideline, getting the point and the serve to the Bulldogs. Side out, 7-3. Serve over from Carlson, but it drifts out of bounds. We haven't seen a lot of that from either side tonight. As the serve is out of bounds, wide right there for Carlson and it's 8-3, Dragons. Dragons slapping it over. Ball tipped high into the air. Trenton will just have to uh, double hand this over and doing so is Brittany Wilson. Now Cameron again with the set. There's the spike from the left side. Good dig by Burkholder. Uh, for the spike by Robinson. The ball goes back over to Cameron. Tipped over by the Dragons. Tipped back over by the Bulldogs as the ball is in the middle of the floor. Spike hit the net. Rolled over to Cameron. Dug out by the Dragons. One of the longer... Rallies of the night ends right there on the spike from Paige Harper. It goes off of the tips of the fingers of Brittany Wilson of Trenton and out of bounds to the back line. 9-3 now, Cameron with the lead, and Trenton struggling here early in the second set. There's a great serve right over the net, played nicely by Trenton, and dug out, tipped over by Wilson. Trenton Sr. gets it over back to Cameron. There's another spike, and that is going to go... Wide right, not a bulldog to be found there. Was able to get her hand on the volleyball to keep it in the air was Provorce, but it'll be Point Cameron. Dragons on a roll here, up 10 to three. Timeout called by Trenton's Amanda King. Trenton down, 14-25, 3-10. We're back with more in 30 seconds on KTTN-TV. Bulldog Volleyball on KTTN-TV brought to you by Dave's Body Shop, Dr. Andy Cox, DDS, Barnes Baker Automotive, Farmers Mutual Insurance, Trenton Main Stop, North Central Missouri College Bookstore, Dr. Ethan Cross, Larry Bunnell Insurance, Rosemary Hill Tree Farm, North Central Missouri College, Double R Egg, and the TNT Convenience Stores with two Trenton locations to serve you. Trenton down seven with possession. As the ball is scooped underhanded over the net on the third hit for Provorce. Ball tipped at the net there by the Bulldogs. Tipped into the air. And there is the push for Trenton up against the net. Cameron can't save it. Keeping the ball in the air was Hannah Robinson of the Dragons. But the point will go over at Trenton's direction. I believe that might have been, I'm guessing somewhat, I'll admit to that. I thought that was uh, Laura Carlson who pushed that over for uh, what will go down as a kill. But uh, kind of a point off of uh, block there for Trenton. So 10-4. Cameron with the lead. Trenton with the serve. Is it an ace or is it out? It is out. Point Cameron. Very, very close trying to clip that back line with Laura Carlson. Cameron looked at each other and they were hoping the Dragons had it drifted long and it did by about a half foot. 11-4 now. Cameron nearly halfway to the second set. Cameron gets the second set. It's a road sweep. Cameron won the JV match earlier tonight by identical 25-13, 25-13 finals. There's a wide serve. I'm not sure if that was Laura Carlson letting it go wide or saying I can't get to it anyway. I better let it go wide. It was a really good nasty serve there for Cameron. It was low and it had diagonal spin to it as it went over the net and landed wide left. Now the serve for Trenton, kind of a uh, pooch serve up in the air there by Burkholder, caught Cameron by surprise. The Dragons had to dive to keep it in the air. Now Trenton will have to scramble to keep this one in the air and they're unable to do so. It kind of went south there for Trenton as Laura Carlson was playing the back left side and her set tipped it high into the air, but it went deep 
and off the playing floor, able to get her hand on the volleyball was Burkholder, but not toward a teammate. 12-5 now, Dragons with the second set lead. Cameron with, uh, Trenton with it, and another one of those uh, sets that sent the uh, spike attempt for Trenton. Carly Provert's got off balance, the ball is over her head as she leaned backwards and got off balance and got her hand on the ball, but it went against the net for the Dragon point. 13-5 now, Cameron, Trenton with the dig. Ball tipped in the air and tipped over by Shauna Copeland. Cameron has it. There is the double tip over. Trenton has to dive to keep it in the air off of the McIntyre effort. Now Cameron will tip it over. Double-handed set there by Robinson. Trenton launches it left side. Ball pushed over. Two-handed by Proverse. The ball will be tipped over. And the third time by Cameron. Spiked over. Back over by the Trenton freshman Copeland. The rally continues as Trenton had some miscommunication. Sadie Jackson was there. She got out of the way at the last second. That sent Shauna Copeland diving to the floor. Trenton unable to get to that ball. And it's 14-5 now, Cameron. Trenton to host Lawson tomorrow night. Chillicothe on Thursday night. Lots of great volleyball action here from the THS gym. There's a set going left side as the ball is pushed over the net. By Proverse, nice spike there by Cameron, but it is played neatly into the air by the Bulldogs. Back to the left side of the floor, Proverse underhands it over with the uh, two-handed fist. There's the spike from the left side, and uh, finding it with the left hand is Hannah Robinson. She continues with those uh, long arms, long legs to be a force at the net for Cameron. And she's able to get up above the net for some of those spikes, and she found a spot open there to the left of Trenton Selena Allen. Trenton able to uh, tip it over the net. Now back over from Cameron. Copeland has it, has it again, but her shot goes over the net and it drifts out of bounds as it'll be Point Dragons. Now 15-5 in favor of CHS. Serve for Cameron. It's Paige Harper lofting that ball into the air. It's dug neatly by Trenton's Allen right back over to the Cameron side. Battle at the net has it toward the Dragons. The spike is going to be dug out by Burke Holder of the Bulldogs. And it'll be Provorce with the spike for Trenton. If Provorce is like that left side. That spike is dug out by Cameron. And we get into the net. Was it the Trenton Lady Bulldogs or the Cameron Lady Dragons? Trenton into the net. Net violation against Trenton. Automatic point for Cameron. Bulldogs have struggled in this second set. 17-5 now, Dragons. There's, I believe that's an ace serve indeed. That was uh, this, kind of the same serve that we saw earlier that drifted out of bounds that time, a diagonal serve that drifted inbounds, sinking and landing right inside the near sideline for Paige Harper. So 18-5 in favor of Cameron. Second set, Cameron seven points away from the varsity sweep. Another serve here by Harper right after an ace. That one's going to be way long. That's one that uh, if you're Trenton, you play that one, you get a talking to for coach. You, when it's closer to the uh, basketball net than it is the uh, back line, you know that it's way long, and it was uh, closer to the net. For Trenton, here's Mackenzie Klingensmith. Good serve. Going to be tipped into the air by Cameron on the set. There's the spike, and it's over. That almost worked for Cameron. I don't know if the Dragons would take credit for it or not, but it kind of worked like a little change up in baseball where Harden wanted to hit the ball really hard and her timing was off, so she kind of tipped it and went right over the hands of the Bulldogs blockers and right in front of the Libro. 19-6, Dragons, another tough serve there by Cameron. You know, Trenton's not played well in this second set, but the biggest reason for that is Cameron has played very, very well. This Dragon team, one set one, generally had the better of things against Trenton. And won it 25-14. Maybe doesn't indicate how competitive that first set was. But to Cameron, they got their rhythm now. And the Dragons look very, very tough. As Trenton gets it over. That's Provorce. Cameron will look again for the uh, spike kill. Robinson has it off uh, of the dig attempt of Teresa Burkholder of Trenton. The ball is out of bounds and to the floor right in front of the scores table here at the THS gym. 21-6 now in favor of Cameron. As McIntyre steps into one. The ball right on the back line for Trenton. Now chips over the net. And out of bounds. Klingensmith 
Not sure if she was going to try to get that to a teammate or just get it to the other side of the floor. She got it to the other side of the floor, but it drifted wide up the far sideline. Low serve there for Cameron. Another really good serve by the Dragons. Dragons have been an exemplary serving team tonight. That set went over the net to Trenton and Sadie Jackson. The long angular sophomore able to go into the air and put it away. The spike kill for Jackson makes it 22 to seven now in favor of Cameron and it will give the serve on the side out to Malia Farmer of Trenton. So it'll be Farmer with the ball. Back of the floor, left side of your screen. Tips it over to the Dragons, not a good pass and that's a service ace for Farmer. Paige Harper tried to get that in a good position for a set. Didn't spike or didn't dig the ball out real, real well. 22-8 now in favor of the Dragons. There is a, another good serve by Farmer. Cameron has it. There's another spike kill. Hannah Robinson, the lean lefty, continues to do damage on the front line for the gray-clad Cameron Dragons. Now two points away from a season opening win. Spike over the net. It's going to go left side, and that spike for Trenton. Carly Provorce was on one foot, and she uh, slapped that one into the net. Match point, Dragons. Harden with it for Cameron. Low serve, dug out by Trenton. The ball will go middle of the floor, tipped over by the Bulldogs. Cameron can win it here. There's the... Tip by Robinson, and another tip by Robinson, and that one is down. Robinson tried it once, no go, was tipped over by Wilson. Robinson tied it, tried it a second time and caught the Bulldogs out of position defensively as Cameron has set number two. Cameron, one of those nights where Cameron got better as the night went on, and you could clearly see that from a timing mechanism. Cameron looked very, very good by late first set into the second, and as they look good, Trenton struggled to match the level that the Dragons had. So the Dragons get a doubleheader sweep and straight sets to open up the volleyball season here at THS. 25-14, 25-8. The final for the Cameron Dragons. Cameron will go to Lawson on Thursday. Lawson will come here and play the Bulldogs tomorrow night. Trenton will host Chillicothe on Thursday. Cameron on Tuesday of next week, the 30th, will be at Excelsior Springs. And Trenton's first roadie. Road test is a week from tonight at Penny. Plattsburgh will be here a week from tomorrow. So both these teams are going to hop into volleyball season. And uh, win or lose, they can't be happier. They can't lick their wounds for too awfully long because there's a lot of volleyball coming up for both these teams over the next eight days. 25-14, 25-8, the varsity final in favor of Cameron. As uh, we will take a break and we'll be back to wrap things up here on KTTN-TV. From the THS Gymnasium, Cameron looking impressive in the season opener, winning 25-14, 25-8 at Trenton High School.
Cameron Dragons with the doubleheader sweep tonight's two sets to zero victories over the Trenton Lady Bulldogs. JV matchup goes Cameron's way 25-13, 25-13. Varsity matchup going Cameron's way 25-14 and 25-8. Softball final that I have to pass along from the GRC West and the KCI East Buchanan gets the 5-2 season opening victory over the uh, King City Lady Wildcats tonight. As far as anything else, I don't have, I don't think anything of the uh, breaking variety as far as scores from across the area tonight. So we may call it a night here from THS. And that would be a go. If you do want to follow me on Twitter, I'm uh, posting a lot of uh, either scores from here. I just posted the volleyball uh, match and uh, anything else I might have, I'll probably retweet. So if you're into Twitter and you want to go to uh, at TJ Sports Radio, at TJ Sports Radio, if you want to get updated on some of the uh, finals, volleyball, softball, uh, Trenton JV footballs playing at uh, Lathrop tonight. That started about an hour ago. So there's a lot going on here on this first real busy Monday night of the uh, fall sports season. It's strange to say fall sports season even here. I uh, was still three weeks to go in the summer. Coming up on Friday night, Z101.7 and on KGLZ TV, which is uh, same as what you're watching now. If it's a KTTN uh, game, we'll call it KTTN TV. And if it's a game that we would have on KGLZ for radio, we'd call it KGLZ TV. But it's all one and the same. It's our YouTube channel. You can uh, watch and or listen to Trenton hosting Lexington, our KTTN game of the week. It was to be Princeton at North Platte. It maybe is a little bit up in the air. or uh, having some uh, difficulty finding uh, somebody to do the game. So uh, we'll either have that game. If we don't have Princeton North Platte on KTTN Friday, we would switch over to Milan hosting South Callaway and get another Princeton game later in the season. There's going to be a lot of uh, mixing and matching and uh, uh, here and there with uh, both Princeton and uh, Milan and now Trenton members of the Grand River Conference. So as of this point, Princeton at North Platte, you can listen to on KTTN Friday. If that does change, we'll let you know. That's it from the uh, Trenton Gym for tonight, along with our videographer tonight, Logan Dempsich. This is Tom Johnson, where Cameron gets the uh, sweep over Trenton in this volleyball contest. Season opens for volleyball tonight as the Dragons get the road win 25-14, 25-8. So long from Trenton High School.